The Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, is urging Christians to have faith in the Lord, especially in these troubling times. Now, he wants Christians to continue praying, wash their hands regularly, and stick to the social distancing rules, and that life after the end of COVID-19 will be good. Ghana, like many other countries, is battling the fast spread in COVID-19. Businessman and philanthropist Ernest Sicho Domi was accompanied by the Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra to donate some items, including PPEs, to the Adentan police station. We'll hear from the religious leader shortly, but first, here's the businessman speaking about why he had to step in to assist the police. This pandemic um, that has affected the whole of humanity. And so it's a very difficult situation for all of us uh, to go through this period. Possibility uh, with my my church and a crack diocese as a whole, and with the GJ president, who is also living in the community, who is here with us. That we we cannot do all, but we came together as a community so that we can also fight the cause that we are all fighting for, to help the Adenta police not do all. So we are only here to also do our part in the community that we live that they protect us. So I brought them drinks, soft drinks, water, hand wash soap, disinfectant, and N95 face masks so they can use as long as to protect us. Thank you very much. Uh, people are supporting the government in all ways. So if he's also bringing this one to our personnel and the people in the cell, we don't have anything to say. What to say is thanks to him and thanks be to God. God bless us all. We can all listen to the Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra, Most Reverend John Bonaventure. This pandemic um, that has affected the whole of humanity. And so it's a very difficult situation for all of us uh, to go through this period of the coronavirus. Uh, as we have heard very, at the moment, there's no vaccine for sin. And so the only thing is to make sure that you don't uh, contract this uh, uh, virus. And so, and especially when you talk about Ghana, Ghana the, the health delivery system in Ghana is not yet at that stage to support this. So I would want to emphasize that the preventive measures that uh, government has put in place, every citizen must adhere to these uh, preventive measures. But it's better to prevent it than to say we are going to cure it because it's very difficult for everybody. Yeah. And so the church, uh, what the church uh, says is that everybody must be, be must uh, recognize that the government, uh, the uh, protocols uh, put down by the government are there to help the Ghanaian stay alive, stay healthy. And so I want to emphasize that. Let us all be obedient, uh, 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 observing these uh, uh, measures. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are discussed right now because they've had to stay at home, not because they want to, but because they've been forced. Uh, any words of encouragement for some of our people locked up in their homes and can't come out, they can't congregate as families, friends, uh, as we are, we are used to as a people. Yeah. In, in, in actual fact, I think, uh, as I mentioned, it is important for all of us to adhere to these uh, measures. And the major thing is to stay at home. And so those, uh, all of us are locked at home. Uh, why? Because to go out, you never know where you're going to uh, contract this, uh, what do you call it, uh, virus. Uh -huh. And so it's better for us to stay at home. And so those who are held at home, uh, let them know that uh, it's just a measure at the moment. It's not going to be forever. So the more we obey this, the better for us. Uh? And so I want to say, don't think that uh, you have been locked in your, in your house, you can't do what you want to do. Don't think that. The best thing is that we all remain uh, supportive of one another. Because if uh, I stay at, at home, you stay at home, social distancing, as you talk about, uh, if, uh, if I do it, I do it not just for myself, but also for you. 
if you did not just for yourself but also for me huh? so it's something we we owe this responsibility to one another yeah what do you say to those who say this is a curse from god yes uh, i i would want us to 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 not use that language why god does not curse us it's not the nature of god to curse human beings huh? god wants our good when he created the heavens and the earth if you read Genesis, says everything he created, he found that it was good. Huh? God will not curse us. God accompanies, accompanies us on our journey of life. And so you don't see this as a curse. Uh, epidemics come and go. It's not the first time. Huh? And we hope that uh, it will be the last. But it comes and then it goes. And so it is not a curse on humanity. Uh, something must have gone wrong in our own dealings with uh, one another or this and that you know uh, the way things evolve in society so we must have gone on that's why we are having it but it is not a curse from god god does not curse us and so i want human beings to realize this that uh, this has come to us unfortunately as it is god is also through it opening new doors for us through it god is scaling us into a new height, huh? but it's not a curse that goes at place on humanity. Yeah. And still to come here on News Decks, congestion in the camp of Ghana Paralympics team in Kumasi is raising fears of potential spread of COVID-19 if any of the athletes contracts the disease. We have details after this break. Stay with us.